So guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope everything's good wherever you guys are. So guys, this week we've got a big fight between Baterbiev uh, and uh, Anthony Yard. Uh, this is a good fight, you know. This is actually a good fight. And, and as this fight has got closer, I'm, I'm getting intrigued and I'm excited about it. Um, I think this is a really, I think this is a really, really exciting fight. And I think it might be a better fight than what people give it credit for. Um, I think Anthony Yard is going to bring it. I do. I think Anthony Yard is going to bring it. I think he's going to bring the fire. Uh, Anthony Yard is a big, strong guy. And I think Anthony Yard, uh, how Anthony Yard has to approach this fight, in my opinion, he has to jump on Baterbia from early on. Um, I don't think Anthony Yard's going to have the stamina to be able to go late in this fight. And not just that, I think Baterbiev is the kind of fighter that's going to drain you anyway. And with Yard having those big muscles, I don't, I just don't think he's going to be able to last against someone like Baterbiev late in this fight. So for me, Bater Yard's going to have to do Baterbiev early in this fight. Uh, it's going to have to be a shootout for Yard to win. Yard has got power. He has got clubbing shots. I, I won't say he's a one-punch knockout guy. He's not. He's not a big puncher that people make. Yard's not a huge puncher at all. If you watch his fights, he's a clubbing puncher. Uh, and he definitely is a big, strong guy. And he can he can definitely get your attention. But I don't think he's a massive puncher by any stretch. Baterbiev, on the other hand, he's also a clubbing puncher. But it seems like when he hits people, they... they you know, he really knocks, you know, knocks your head about and your head's, you're all over the place. And, and then he's, and then he's relentless as well. He's on, on you. He's, a, for me, I always say he reminds me a bit of a UFC Khabib. He reminds me like that. He just beats you into submission. Uh, and, and Khabib's a bit like that in the UFC. He just beats you into submission. And, and Materbiev kind of reminds me of that in a boxing way where he just kind of beats you up, beats you up, wears you down and eventually stops you. Uh, because you have nothing left. I mean, I remember the Marcus Brown fight. That was that was horrible. It was brutal. It was it was a guy just beating a guy up and really beating him into submission where Brown just couldn't give any more. People said Brown quit, but I don't think so. I just think he had nothing left because Baterbi have completely drained the life out of him. Um, I look. I I think Baterbiev is going to beat Yard. Be, be honest with you. Like I said, I've just told you the only chance Yard has. For me, the only chance Yard has in this fight is for him to jump on Baterbiev early. Jump on Baterbiev early uh, and look to stop him. Uh, if this fight drags down past four or five rounds, the fight favours Baterbiev because I think Baterbiev is going to be the one that's going to be pushing Yard back. Baterbiev is going to be the one that's going to have Yard on the back foot and Baterbiev is going to be the one that is going to be walking Yard down. And... If it gets past four or five for Yard, it's going to start becoming very difficult from a stamina point of view as well. Uh, Yard's going to be very tired. Look, Kovalev was past his best and Yard was finished at the end of that fight. He was totally gone. I mean, he got knocked out in the jab in the end. And people say, oh, so, uh, he got knocked out by a jab. No, no, no. That jab, getting hit by a jab when you're, when you're tired, that, that hurts. Especially against a guy like Kovalev who's got a laser-like jab. Um, and... Baterbiev's even worse because Baterbiev's going to be hitting you with clubbing shots all the way through the fight, hitting you everywhere on the arms, the stomach, the, the mid-rift and, the, you know, the head. I mean, he's a horrible fighter to fight. The Yard's going to have his work cut out in this fight. Honestly, this is a very, very tough fight for Anthony Yard. And like I said, Yard's going to have to prove his worth. Yard's going to have to prove his worth here. This is going to be very, very tough for him. Very, very tough. Um, and like I said, I don't know if he's going to be able to come through this. I don't know if he's going to be able to win this fight. Um, he's up against uh, he's up against somebody who I believe is a pound for pound fighter, and not just that. I think he uh, Baterbiev could clean out the division. Uh, a lot of people think that Bivol beats Baterbiev. I'm not so sure. Baterbiev's a monster. He's an absolute monster, and he punches very hard. Uh, and he's and he's relentless. Um, I I think Baterbiev. I think Baterbiev is gonna beat Yard and clean his clock. To be brutally honest with you, I do. I think he's gonna clean his clock. This is going to be a very, 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 very tough fight uh, for uh, Anthony Yard. And I, I just don't think Anthony Yard has the amateur pedigree or the experience that Baterbiev's got. And then, and also, I don't think Anthony Yard hits as hard as Baterbiev. And that makes a big difference. As we saw, Joe Smith is a, is a good fighter. Joe Smith hits very hard. And, and he just wiped Joe Smith out. 
He just wiped him out because the problem is a lot of these guys, yeah, you know, people like Yard and Smith and these guys are these guys are tough and they, they punch hard. They're like Yard's a big guy, but they don't have the experience. People like Baterbiev have been uh, have been in uh, had an extensive amateur career where he's where he's done very well and he's fought the best in the world regular you know regularly and he's just he's just a seasoned vet you know what I mean he's just a great great fighter with a lot of boxing skills and for me you know that that's going to be the difference I mean not just the difference I think he's better than Yard he's physically I think stronger I think he punches harder um you know he's just a just a complete better fighter than Yard he's just a much better fighter. And I would like to see Yard win. I actually like Yard. I think I have, I've always been a fan of Yard. I think Yard's good. He's a great, marketable guy. A lot of people don't like Yard. That you know, they think he's this, that. He's a hype job. No, I actually like Yard. I think he's a, a better fighter than what he gets credit for as well. Um, yeah, can he make improvements? Yeah, of course he can. But I think he's much better than what people give him credit for. I just think he's up against a complete monster. I think he's up against somebody who I believe is just going to be too much for him. I think the problem is with Yard, it's going to be the stamina late on in the fight. Because if he can't get Baterbiev out of there early, Baterbiev's pressure is going to be pushing him back. And it's just going to be horrible and brutal for Yard. And Yard, I don't think, has great stamina. Especially when someone like that's going to be putting it on him uh, constantly and not giving him any breathing space. I think Yard's going to tire very quickly. And I think we already saw with, with Kovalev how spent Yard was toward the end of that fight. Imagine what's going to happen if he's in there with Baterbiev. You see those big muscles that Andre Ward always says, those big muscles don't help in fights, especially when you get later on when you get tired. You know, having those big bulky muscles, uh, you know, being that, being like that is not, um, is not great. I remember Ward saying that, you know, Tim, someone like Timothy Bradley was the exception not the rule so basically what he meant is is that timothy bradley was a one-off where he had these muscles but he, he had great stamina uh, generally guys with mus muscles they have stamina issues you look at guys like anthony joshua he's a huge guy but he has stamina issues any any muscular guy any guy that's really muscular that's got huge muscles uh you know those muscles need oxygen um and um for me yards the same i think yard um he's got huge muscles but i don't think muscles muscles are i, I think are counterproductive in boxing especially if you ain't able to do the job early because then you get tired and when you get tired as muhammad ali said to george foreman this is the wrong place for anyone to get tired um and if yard gets tired against Baterbiev, he's going to be in a whole heap of trouble because Baterbiev is the last person you want to get tired against in there because he's going to be relentless. He's going to be hitting you hard. He's going to be on top of you. He's not going to give you any breathing space and you're going to feel like you're drowning and you're drowning and drowning and eventually you'll drown. And and that's what Baterbiev does. Baterbiev is is a beast. Uh, you know, Baterbiev is not somebody that he's not, he's not your, your normal fighter. Baterbiev is, is an exceptional fighter. And I, like I said, I think Yard is in for a very, very, very long night. And like I said, I would love to see Yard pull this off. I would love to see Yard go in there and, and, and shock us, shock the world. Um, but unfortunately, I just don't see it. I think I think this guy, Baterbiev, I honestly think he beats Bivol. I, I think, I think I, I, what I will say is I think the fight's 50-50 with Bivol and Baterbiev. I think the longer the fight drags out, I think the more it favours... Uh, the more it favors Dimitri Bivol, and and what I'm hearing now, if Yard, do, I mean Baterbiev does beat Yard, he has to fight Callum Smith next. Um, and who knows? Maybe Yard might give Baterbiev a tough fight, and then if he has to fight Callum Smith, that might be a tough fight. And then you know, by the time he gets to Bivol, I mean, you know, we don't know what Baterbiev is old. I mean, by the time he gets to Bivol, he might be forty years of age or touching forty years of age. So you know, that's not going to be good for uh, that's not going to be good for um, Bivol, is it? Uh, I mean, sorry for Baterbiev, is it? So we need we need to see this fight. You know, I don't know. Maybe, look, Callum Smith can be given some step aside so then those two can get it on. I just don't think that fight is that big. And unfortunately, you know, Bob Arum, uh, Bob, Bob Arum and her need to get together and make that fight, you know. Uh, the problem is I don't think Bob Arum is going to want Baterbiev to fight on any other platform than ESPN. And obviously, Eddie Earns obviously invested in, in Bivol as well. So, yeah, it's... it's are they going to be able to work together and make that fight? I'm not so sure. I really want to see that fight. I think that is the fight in the light heavyweight division that we need to see. You know, these other fights, you know, 
I'm not that interested in, to be honest with you. Now, some people think that Callum Smith has a chance against Baterbiev, possibly, but I, 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 like I said, I don't think so. I think Baterbiev is a very, like I said, I keep saying that Baterbiev is not just a big puncher. He's a guy with an extensive amateur pedigree, a guy that's done very well as an amateur. If you look, oh, look at his amateur record, he's an unbelievable fighter. You know, he's an unbelievable pressure fighter, probably one of the best pressure fighters of the last maybe 20 years, that's how good he is. You know, he's probably, I mean, can you think of a better pressure fighter than than Baterbiev? I don't, I can't think of any on top of my head. I mean, Baterbiev is probably one of the best in the last 20 years. So this is a tough fight for Yard. I'm going, obviously, Baterbiev knockout. But leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.